The Xbox controller is a versatile piece of gaming equipment loved by millions of gamers all over the world. And in this video, I'll show you the features and basic functionalities of the Xbox One controller. When we pick it up, the first thing we'll notice is the Xbox logo. Its primary function is to turn your controller on and off, and it can also control your console's power when it's paired with it. Also, when your Xbox is running, you can open the guide from anywhere by pressing this button. And from the guide, you can access your profile, your friend list, you can start parties and chats, and a lot of other functions. On the top of the logo, we have the pair button and the micro USB charging port. And at the bottom, we have 3.5mm audio jack and an expansion port, which you can use to connect external accessories, such as the Xbox One chat headset. At the back, we have the battery compartment. You can use both rechargeable and non-rechargeable AA batteries to power your controller. And in case you don't want to use the batteries, you can also connect your controller with your console using the USB cable that's included in the box. Now let's take a look at the controls. We have two thumbsticks. The left one is usually used to move your character in games, move the cursor or move around the menu. The right thumbstick is usually used to look around in games or move the crosshair and used to scroll up and down pages. Both of them are omnidirectional and the speed of the movement depends on how far you take them away from the center. Furthermore, each of them doubles as a button. They are normally used as sprint or ADS button in games. Then we have a cluster of four colorful letters, A, B, X and Y, and in games they have different actions assigned to them, such as interacting, attacking, jumping, equipping items, etc. And in the menu, A is usually select, B is back, X is backspace, and Y opens up the search bar. Then we have a cross shape with buttons at each end. This is called the directional pad or mostly known as the D-pad. Its function is similar to the right joystick, but the movement is two-dimensional. You can only go left and right or up or down. It's mostly used to navigate through the menus. In 3D games, they are most commonly bind to certain actions rather than movement. Now we have two small buttons at the center. The left one is the view button. By pressing this, you can bring up the customize bar when you're on your Xbox home. And in games, it usually brings up the map or the objective you have. And then we have the menu button. And as the name suggests, it opens the menu. When you're in game or when you're out of games, you can just select an app and press the menu button to open the option list. But that's not all. There's four more buttons on the top of your controllers. They are the bumpers and the trigger buttons. Now the triggers are special pressure sensitive controls. They are widely used in games that uses the throttle control feature, such as racing and aviation games. And additionally, by using these, you can go up or down a list. Note that these controls vary from games to games, and they can also be customized to your liking, both from the console settings or the in-game settings. And now you know how to use the Xbox One wireless controller. And if you're planning to buy it for your kids, you cannot teach them how to use it. But do make sure that your controller is up to date to avoid complications while using it. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more guides like this one. And we'll see you soon.